Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C Sharp programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create a chart that converts degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit in increments of 5 degrees. As you can see in my output, that I have a column of degrees Celsius and I have a column of degrees Fahrenheit. These are the values coming from the user and these are the outputs that are getting generated. These values are coming in increments of 5. Let me show you how the code looks like. So what I did to produce this output is first of all, I declared a couple of variables, f equals to zero and c equals to zero. They're both type integers. Then using the console at right line, I am creating three columns. The first column is size 11 and it's negative. That means it's left to line. So all the values are in the left to line. Then I have my second column with a pipe and my third column, which is also uh, size 11, has the second heading, which is degrees Fahrenheit. In my second row, I am displaying the, the, the underline. And then after that, I run a loop. The loop starts at zero and goes in the increments of five from zero through 100. And these are the values of my Celsius from zero all the way through 100. Every time I go in the loop, I fetch the value of Celsius, multiply it by nine, divided by five, add 32 to it, and then display the values of C and F in a very similar column size. Then go back, increment the value of C by 5, so the next value of C is 5, and then compute the value for F. Then go back in the loop, now the value of C is 10, and like that, continue all the way till the C hits 100. And then the loop will terminate. You do not need nested loops. If you want the same program to work where you are accepting Fahrenheit, and producing Celsius, so all you need to do is, you need to then change your loop counter to be all F's instead of C's, you're going to use the formula for accepting Fahrenheit and calculating Celsius, and then you switch the positions here and you change the column headings. And with those minor cosmetic changes, you could pretty much produce similar output of converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius.